Hey folks, before we get into the game, just a quick note on pitching. If you're new to the game and coming over from Magic like us, it can be really tempting to pitch your cards to create resources, then spend them on whatever cards or abilities you want to play. In Flesh and Blood, you're actually not allowed to pitch unless you're in the process of paying for a card or ability. We do it incorrectly a few times in this game because we filmed a bunch of this content before we learned that. Now we know, and at some point in the future, you'll see us playing it right. What's up, Spikes? We're back with some more Flesh and Blood gameplay content. Today we are going to be using the uh, pre-constructed decks uh, for Tales of Aria. And I'm going to be playing Lexi. This is the, the young version of Lexi uh, with her trusty Shiver. And she's going to be wearing a Honing Hood, a Mark of Lightning, a Deep Blue, and some Iron Rot Legs. Jerry, what are you bringing to the table today? Well, I'm bringing a young man, because it's the young version, Oldham here. Um, I'm bringing uh, the standard Blitz deck equipment, mm -hmm. right? You got your Titan's Fist, Rot, and Old Buckler. Uh, and then uh, he's wearing Helm of Ice and Peak, Goliath Gauntlet, Coat of Frost, and Ironhide Legs. All right. Well, I think we should just get straight into it, shouldn't we? Let's fire away. So uh, speaking of fire away, that's that's sort of my plan here. I'm going to pitch this Heaven's Claws to activate my Shiver. Uh, so I'm going to put an arrow from my hand face up into an empty arsenal zone I control. And that will be Blizzard Bolt. Uh, and then if I do put a card into my arsenal face up, I can choose one. I can either give it plus one attack until end of turn or dominate until end of turn. I'm going to choose dominate. Uh, so with my one resource floating still after pitching those, I'm going to cast this blizzard bolt and I'm going to fuse it with this winter's bite. Uh, so because this was fused, uh, whenever an attack deals damage to a hero this turn, I create a frostbite token under their control. I have no resources floating. And I am attacking you for five with Dominate. Well, I'll just block with this Autumn's Touch. Okay. So I'm taking three and creating a Frostbite uh, token? Two. Two. Because you're, and because you're blocking for three, taking yeah. two. You get a Frostbite token under your control. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is nothing because I don't have any more action points. This is in my hand, though. Um, I'm going to... I think I'm going to Arsenal this card... Yeah, I'm gonna arsenal this card. We're gonna clean up here, and uh, I'm gonna draw up to my hand size. All right, Bill, you ready for this? No. <laughs> you <got it. laughs> yeah, you are. You see this frostbite token? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to pitch a blue break ground, a blue thump, and a red turn timber. <laughs> seven? I'm paying seven to come at you for 10 damage. Oh. Uh, I've, I've, I've cast a card, this frostbite token is no more. That's a lot of damage. It, it's just 10. It's half um, your life total. You could just take it and still have half, half your life total. total. I could take it. I'm not, we're not going to take it. No, we ain't going to take it. We are not going to take it. At least not all of it. I'm going to take seven. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll deal you seven. Uh, that's my turn. Uh, clean up and pass her over. Okay, I'm going to activate the ability of Lexi to turn a face down card in my arsenal face up. If it's a lightning card, my next attack this turn will gain go again. And if it's an ice card, create a frostbite token under target hero's control. This is in fact an ice action. You chose yourself, right? I did, um, but unfortunately, you're the you're the ice guy. So, ah, fair, yeah, fair. It just it is what it is. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to reveal this winter's bite. Uh, I'm going to cast this Winter's Bite from my arsenal. Uh, so you are going to discard a card unless you pay a resource. And then this has go again. I will pay a resource. Okay. The same as you discarding a card, notably. Um, I am going to activate the ability of this Deep Blue. Uh, put a card from my hand on the bottom of my deck, destroy this, and gain three resources. And now with three resources, the world is kind of my oyster. I'm going to use one of my resources to cast this Overflex. My next arrow attack this turn gains plus four. Uh, and then I can reload. I am going to choose not to reload, but then this has go again. Yep. I'm gonna pay another resource to activate the ability of this Shiver to put an arrow from my hand into my arsenal. Uh, I'm going to put this Dazzling Crescendo into my arsenal. I'm going to give it Dominate. Yep. And then because this is free, I'm gonna launch this at you for eight with Dominate. We will put, because uh, Dominate is just cards from hand. Cards from hand, correct. Um, I'm going to do that, because that seems fine. Mm -hmm. And then another one. Okay. So, so I'll be blocking for five. For five. Okay, so you will take three. Yes. 
Okay. I'm gonna put these away. I'm gonna let that resource go, sadly. I'm and gonna will... put a battle warrant token. Mm-hmm. And I will draw some cards. I'm gonna pitch this blue earth lore surge to just straight up cast this strength of Sequoia, paying the extra one for the frostbite token. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's going to, unfortunately, no cards in hand. I can't fuse it. That's mm-hmm. destroyed. Uh, so uh, at the beginning of my action phase, destroy it. And then the next attack action card I play this turn gains plus one attack. That's everything I can do. So I'm going to draw, draw up to four. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, so this Strength of Sequoia is an, is an aura specifically, so it does stay on the battlefield. Uh, I'm going to start my turn by casting a Take Aim. The next Ranger action card I, can, I play this turn gains plus three, and then I can reload. Uh, I am going to reload, I believe. I'm going to put this card face down into my arsenal. Then, uh, just for fun, I'm going to activate Lexi, just to show you what this is. So this attack, because it's a lightning card, uh, or it, sorry, it isn't even a lightning card. I'm just revealing it to you. Oh, okay. For fun. <laughs> I, I thought it was a lightning card. Uh, I'm going to pitch this pitfall trap for two resources, and I'm going to use one of them to cast this buzz bolt. Uh, and I'm going to lightning fuse it with this electrify from my hand. So uh, because it was fused, whenever an attack hits a hero this turn, it deals one damage to them. Okay. And I have one resource floating. So you're coming at me for four. Uh, for seven. Seven. And then if it hits you, it deals an additional one damage. That is so much more than four. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pitch this blue autumn's touch mm-hmm. uh, to defense reaction, notably. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm going to biting gale it, uh, fusing it, uh with winter's bite so please uh discard a card unless you pay to yeah i'm just gonna discard this electrify okay um that's everything so i'm gonna take okay. four and then an extra five i actually have a response oh to okay that as well uh so this my mark of lightning says whenever a lightning or elemental uh attack i control is defended by a card from hand i can destroy this if i do the attack deals one damage to the defending hero are you going to so do that i'm going to do that but because buzzbolt was fused it actually deals an additional damage on top of that uh so you're taking an additional two from that so I'm block. So this was a seven. I block seven, for four. Block four. Sorry, block for three. Block down to four. Take four. an extra two. So six. Uh, and then one additional from the buzz bolt. So uh, seven. Seven. Okay. Yes. I yeah, will take seven, seven minus three. So then this hits for four. Deals an additional one thanks to it. And then this is making it deal an additional yeah. one to you, which then is increased by it. So yeah. Uh, okay. So let's clean up here. I don't have anything to use that resource on. And I'll just draw some cards. All right, so at the start of my turn, uh, I'm going to destroy this Strength of Sequoia. So the next attack action card I play this turn gains plus one attack. Here's the thing, Bill. Hmm. Don't got one. Dang. So uh, first of all, though, we're going to Winter's Bite you. Please discard a card unless you pay two. <sighs> that messes with my plans a little bit. Um, it's a bit of a pickle, isn't it? It is a bit of a pickle. I'll discard this Chill to the Bone. Um, so then I go again, so I'm going to go again. I'm going to destroy my Coat of Frost to create a Frostbite token under your control. Mm. Mm-hmm. Notably, also had go again. Interesting. Uh, I'm then going to pitch this Red Weave Ice to activate my Helm of Ice and Peak ability, destroying it so I gain plus one intellect, and uh, at the end of my turn, I'm going to draw up to five. Yeah. Uh, that's my entire turn. No cards in hand, so I'm going to draw five cards and pass the turn to you, Bill. This all checks out, Jerry. All of this makes sense. Uh, I'm going to pitch this yellow chill to the bone for two resources. Uh, in order to cast, or in order to activate this uh, shiver. So that's going to use up both of my resources and kill the frostbite. Uh, I'm going to put this Bolton shot into my arsenal face up. Yep. And I'm going to give it dominate until end of turn. You got it. And with that being said, because Bolton shot is free, I'm going to attack you for four with dominate. Four with dominate. I'm going to just defend with one card and only take the one, hopefully. Okay. Yep. The one is all you take. I'm going to put uh, this last card in my hand in my arsenal and draw for the end of my turn. All right. We're going to do what uh, we in the biz call a setup turn. Uh Uh-oh. So I'm going to pitch this Glacial Footsteps for three resources. Using two of it, I'm going to play Strength of Sequoia. Um, Notably, again, not fused. Mm -hmm. I'm then going to pitch this Embolden for another resource, and I'm going to use two of it 
to pay, play a Strength of Sequoia Red as well. Okay. <laughs> um, that's everything I can do, so I will pass the turn. Very good. Very so good. Uh, hopefully we draw something decent here. All right, Jerry, are you ready for this? I'm ready to rumble. Okay. Uh, I'm going to pitch this Heaven's Claws for two resources, uh, using one of the two resources to pay for this Electrify. Yep. Uh, the next time an attack action card hits a hero this turn, deals three damage to them. Oh, if no. this is played from Arsenal, I draw a card. Yep. And it has go again. So I will have done that. I'm going to cast this Entwine Lightning, uh, and I'm going to reveal this Amulet of Lightning to Lightning Fuse it. Yep. Uh, so if it was fused, it gains go again. I'm attacking you for four. If it hits you, it will deal an additional three. Block for five. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I don't have any attack reactions or anything, so that just gets fully blocked. Uh, I'm going to use my one resource floating to activate Shiver and put this Chilling Ice Vein into my arsenal face up. Yep. I'm going to give it Dominate until end of turn. Yep. Uh, then I am going to pitch this Amulet of Lightning, and with two resources floating, I'm going to cast this Chilling Ice Vein. I am not Lightning Fusing it. Um, so I have two resources floating, and I'm attacking you for four. Uh, no blocks. Okay. Uh, so take four. Uh, so notably, Electrify says oh. the next time an attack action card hits a hero, so how the about, effect is still active. <laughs> how about snow? <laughs> snow? It does have dominate, so that's going to make this awkward for you, I think. <laughs> Everything's awkward, Bill. That's the secret cap. Uh, block for two. Okay. So I'm going to take two, take two and, and then, then take, take three. three from the Electrify effect. Yep. And uh, I don't have anything else, so I'm just going to clean up here. Okay, so start of my action turn. These get destroyed, so my next attack action I play this turn uh, will be, whatchamacallit, will have plus six attack. Mm -hmm. uh, notably, a weapon, not an attack action card. This is correct. It is correct. Uh, I'm going to swing at you for four. For four? Four, four. Uh, let's see, I'm at 13. I think I have a pretty good chance to kill you if I don't block. So I'm just not going to block. I okay. will take four. Yeah, that, no, that's completely satisfactory. Mm -hmm. I will draw up and pass my turn. I'm going to break my Honing Hood uh, to return all cards in my arsenal to my hand, then put a card from my hand face down into my arsenal. So I'm going to return this to my hand, and I'm going to put this guy into my arsenal. Uh, I'm going to immediately play this card from my arsenal, and it's going to be a Dazzling Crescendo. Uh, I'm going to Lightning Fuse it with this Electrify from my hand, and if it was fused, it gains go again. I'm attacking you for four. Uh, defend with Winter's Bite and Thump for three. Do you have any attack reactions? I don't. Um, I will activate Old Him's defense reaction. I will pitch this... Winter's Grasp. Mm -hmm. Notably, it is an ice card at, with three. Mm -hmm. uh, please put uh, a card from your hand on top of your deck. I will. All right. Uh, that should, part of the chain closes that. Yeah. So, yeah, you've blocked for five. Yep. Uh, and so we're good there. Uh, I'm going to attack you with an Entwine Lightning, and I'm going to uh, fuse with this Electrify again and attack you for four with Go again. Well, Bill... <laughs> That, my friend... I am unstoppable, Jeremiah. ...is the game. Hmm. I have this amulet device. Good game, Jeremiah. I, uh, I, I got a little greedy. I took the amulet device <laughs> without another thing because I wasn't thinking. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, that's why we learn. That's okay. Jerry, um, do you mind if I go to I still had all D's step? D no, because I still had all this. I, I still had these. <laughs> this well, had go again. I was going to attack you again. Wow, but anyway. I was dead. <laughs> Yeah, I drew really well. I was able to fuse a card basically every turn, and um, the effects on some of these fuses are just like backbreaking when you're able to use them like in concert with yeah. uh, effects. Like uh, when I was able to break this Mark of Lightning with the Buzz Bolt active, that just was... having it deal an additional two for free. Yes, is is really really good. Uh, that felt powerful. Mm -hmm. um, I still got you. Wow, I thought I keep looking over there and thinking you're at six, but it's a nine. Yeah, that... I, I mean, again, I was just able to continuously pre apply pressure, and I feel like Oldheim, unless you're able to Oldheim, mm -hmm. unless you're able to continuously defend uh, effectively and then move forward with, you know, I'm on, I'm on the aggression and also yeah. like keeping the opponent on the back foot. On the back foot, um, unless you're able to effectively do that. 
Again, I think Oldheim is going to be better in competitive constructed just because you have more life to play with. Um, even with an aggressive deck using a bunch of their resources to attack you for a bunch early, you'll still have 20 life basically after that's done. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's a bad matchup for Oldheim specifically in Blitz. I think in competitive constructed, it's completely like the, Verse, reverse. Yeah, I think the tables are, are really effectively turned. Um, but yeah, uh, how did you how do you like the deck? Uh, I really like Giant Man with Hammer. <laughs> wow, he's very powerful. Um, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, of note, I thought Helm of Ice and Peak, I believe it is called. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thought when I looked at it first, I'm like, oh, it doesn't have go again. Um, I'm probably never going to do this. But there's a lot of times in this deck where you're like, okay, I can take a turn off. I can do a setup. And at that end of that setup turn, I can draw five. And yeah. then for the next one, hopefully just boom, swing, right? Mm -hmm, absolutely. Um, unfortunately, I drew a bunch of red and a six cost <laughs> attacker. That's the awkward thing that I've noticed about Guardian is just you have to have a turn where you have like multiple blues to line up with yep. a big, you know, if it's the glacial footsteps or something like if you're attacking for 10, but it Ex costs six. Yes. So you have to have, you know, at least two blues in order to even fuse it. And it, sometimes the, the turns are awkward, but sometimes they're just really, really strong. Yep. I agree, Bill. Yeah. But anyway, uh, thanks for playing, Jerry. Hey, thank, thank you guys thanks. for watching at home, and we will see you again next time. Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. Before you close the window, make sure you click subscribe for more great flesh and blood content.